Coming up next, we have an update for you regarding the National Democratic Congress's attempt to injunct the Electoral Commission over the disqualification of their Amemfi Central Parliamentary candidate. Um, this is information has just come through uh, earlier today, in terms of getting into the early part of uh, this evening. The High Court, that's a general jurisdiction six, earlier today here in Accra, dismissed the application for injunction filed on 17th October 2024 by the National Democratic Congress and Joanna Jan Kujo, seeking to restrain the Electoral Commission from printing the ballot papers. And we're going to put that on the screen right now. Uh, the ballot papers and notice of poll for the MFA Central constituency in reaction to the refusal of the Electoral Commission to recognize uh, Joanna Jan Kujo as the duly elected NDC parliamentary candidate for the Amemfi Central constituency, as ordered by the, the High Court, uh, the second day earlier, on the 31st of May 2024. Now, the court, based on what we, we, we have been monitoring, upheld the decision of the Electoral Commission, stating that the refusal to hold out, deal with in any way, recognize or afford any rights or privileges to Joanna Jan Kojo as a duly elected NDC parliamentary candidate for the Amemfi Central constituency was in due compliance with the orders of the High Court Second D made on 31st of May 2024, which is still pending. In fact, the court held that to do otherwise will be in contempt of the pending orders. And I'm going to do a quick recall of how the architecture and structure and the makeup of this uh, Memphis Central constituency really is and, and why there are many who believe that the NDC cannot wish this away as, as something that they can sleep and indeed win this constituency again. Even though historically we've seen the uh, Memphis Central constituency stick to the NDC um, right from day one. Uh, Dr. Rashid Tanko Computer is going to be joining us in a bit to have a conversation with him on this particular issue and other matters coming up here on Ghana tonight. And uh, indeed, those who have been watching how things have been playing out in the Amenfi Central Constituency, this is it. As you can see on the screen right there, the NPP has never won this constituency since its creation. And the NDC has been dominant um, in this Amenfi Central Constituency in the Western region over the period. But if you look at it, with how things are playing out, Right now, the best question as to what is going to be happening in the, the, the December 7 presidential parliamentary elections. In that year 2020, the incumbent member of parliament who has now decided to go independent as a result of all the happenings uh, prior to the, 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 the primaries that had to be rerun, which Joanna Jankujo won. I'm talking about none other than this man, Peter Yao Kwachiaka, who is an incumbent member of parliament for the Amenfi Central constituency. He won this constituency twice in the year 2016 and the year 2020. Prior to this, he winning this constituency on the ticket of the NDC, well, he has a very interesting history uh, with, the, with that constituency and, and how he has also, in, as it were, been... Uh, playing out his politics in this constituency. And bear in mind, Peter Kwachiaka is one of four persons in, in the midst of this storm in parliament that has led to this fracas between parliament and the judiciary or the legislature and the judiciary. Because he's decided to go independent, he's one of four persons that and, uh, the Honorable Aaron Idrisu petitioned the Speaker of Parliament to have this seat declared vacant. Peter Kwachiaka is in the mix now. Joanna Jankujo's fate is still left hanging because as we speak, we do not know what the next step of the NDC will be on this matter. But this is how the trend has been over the period. The NDC's dominance there right from 1996, 67.7%. In the year 2000, 54.3% in that particular election. But you know what? In the year 2004, Peter Kwachiaka contested this Amefi Central election in the year 2004, not on the ticket of the NDC, but on the ticket of the MPP. Yeah. The NDC incumbent MP 
contested this constituency in the year 2004 on the ticket of, if, uh, that's the NDC, uh, that's a candidate, contested on the ticket of the MPP in the year 2004. In the year 2008, he contested as an independent candidate. So his decision to go independent, going into this election, December 7, 2024, you could safely say that way back, he had tested his polls as an independent candidate in the Amenfi Central constituency. And guess what? The difference between him and the person who won wasn't that much. In the year 2008, he didn't contest. 2012, he didn't contest. In the year 2016, that's when Peter Kwachaka showed up again. An engineer by profession, worked quite a while in the United States and, and came. In fact, he served as a DC for this area for, for about five years. So he knows the architecture of this constituency quite well. 2016, he contested on a ticket of the NDC and he won. And then 2020, he retained the seat for the NDC. And then going into 2024, he lost the primaries, which has become a matter of contention in the courts. Now, the determination of the courts is that the NDC, that's the attempt to try and challenge the Electoral Commission's decision to bar Joanna Jan Kujo from contesting cannot hold. So essentially, if the status quo remains the same, the NDC may not have a candidate in the Memphis Central constituency. That's what's happening right now. But Dr. Rashid Tanko Computer is the Deputy Director of IT and Elections for the NDC. He's joining us on Zoom right now. Thank you so much for joining us here on, on Ghana tonight. And I'm sure you've been you've seen the, the, the verdict of the court today. For you as a party, how, how is it scratching you in terms of preparing for the Amenfi Central constituency and how Peter Kwachiaka right now may not rescind his decision to come back and contest on the ticket of the NDC? Uh, well, well, Alfred, let me say good evening to your cherished viewers and to you yourself. Uh, yes, uh, I was in court today. Uh, we had the ruling all right. Uh, but quickly, uh, there was a caveat in the ruling uh, in the sense that the, the judge was referring to the, the old injunction uh, that, to him, uh, is still pending. Uh, so he thinks that if we want to proceed on anything, uh, we need to go and vacate that old injunction. So quickly, we, we instructed our lawyers uh, to do the need for, I mean, by drafting uh, a, a, writ, a, a quick one, and uh, fortunately, we were able to profile a fresh one at a second D High Court today uh, uh, to, to vacate that old injunction. And the Electoral Commission was duly served today at the at the office in in in, in Takwadi, uh, this evening. And so uh, the statute quo maintain the, the the Electoral Commission cannot proceed until uh, the decision of this. Uh, uh, secondly, High Court uh, to vacate uh, that the old injunction as pending. Uh, so and so we've, we've been given on the seventh of November to appear uh, before the learned judge of uh, secondly High Court to look at the matter. So clearly, uh, we are not perturbed. We, we we are still going to pursue all the legal means uh, to make sure that we have a candidate at. Uh, Memphis Centra. It's our seat, and Joanna is going to win the seat. Uh, so it, it's any days yet for anybody to think that Joanna is out of the race. She's not at all, completely. In fact, we're able to file today, so the Electoral Commission cannot proceed with any action on uh, Memphis Central until uh, on the 7th of November, uh, when we all appear before the learned judge of the uh, Secondary High Court. Get the understanding, that's going to be the next move for you. 7th of November is the date that you're looking at to remedy the situation, to have Joanna Jankujo still contest as your parliamentary candidate in the MFA Central Constituency? Yes, yes, certainly, certainly. Yes, uh, we're able to serve the Electoral Commission today. So they cannot proceed. They, we, both of us have to wait until 7th November uh, where we we'll go there uh, to see whether they will, they, that rate, uh, that injunct us uh, on the 13th of, uh, of, 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 of September. Uh, it's still pending. So we'll, we'll make sure that we remedy that one come November 7th. Well, but there are, there are some lawyers who also, also made the argument that 
this particular injunction on the 31st, the 31st of May injunction was relative to the outcome of the first primaries, which was held over a year ago. And so why are you focusing on this one by the, uh, that's this latest one, when the, the other one is still pending that relates to the primaries that you as a party, you took a decision to quash the results of that primaries and then to have a rerun for a fresh, fresh primaries, which has then produced the results of Joanna Jan Kujo. But then you still have an interlocutory injunction that is pending on the first primaries that you have quashed. Why is this still pending? Why, why don't you want to deal with that? Uh, well, uh, in fact, we got advice from our legal uh, department uh, that so long as the, the petitioners were looking for certain reliefs, and then uh, uh, the, the court, you see, what the court did was to prevent us initially from having a candidate over there. Because if you look at the, the day the, the court uh, uh, put on for the hearing of the case, was going to happen after we had filed nominations. So who in, who in his right thinking mind would pursue such an agenda? You put a date, and the date will be after nomination has been filed. And so there was no way we were going to, 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 to gamble in such a, a situation. That is why we nullified the first one. And we thought that by nullifying it, it will, it will kill all processes that was in, in the court. And then so we went ahead to file uh, a, a fresh uh, processes to make sure that we have a new candidate. I went there. I went and supervised the election at uh, Amenfi Central. And the electoral commission was fully represented. In fact, the district director was there. And then he did the, the processes. It was popular acclamation. And so it came to us as a surprise when the electoral commission turned uh, around to say that, no, uh, she is not qualified because there is an old injunction pending. I mean, so that's what we, we quickly put in that uh, interlocutory injunction to stop the electoral commission from proceeding after they issued a letter. I mean, so when we went to court last week, uh, and then the, the learned judge said, well, I've listened to you, I've listened to the electoral commission, uh, I'll make my ruling today. And he was still referring to the old injunction. That made us, it, in fact, it took all of us by surprise. Because we don't, uh, why? Why would this uh, old thing still be involved because that whole injunction was for the last election that was held, not the current one. She's a fresh candidate. And so we thought that injunction was for the last election, not the current one. Well, the, the judge has ruled, we respect the court decision, and that is why we took steps to vacate the old injunction. And that's why we quickly ran and made sure that we filed a fresh uh, 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 processes in second D. Uh, to vacate uh, the old injunction. And they've slated uh, November 7th for us to come so that they uh, argue our case, reasons why they should vacate uh, uh, that injunction and allow Joanna to proceed. And I'm very sure in my mind that uh, uh, even the petitioners, I'm not, I don't think they are interested in the matter again. I mean, the constituency, we are together now. Uh, those Because all the grievances that they were looking for, we managed to resolve that for them. So there's no need uh, to pursue an agenda that will not help anybody. In any case, John Dramani Mama and the NDC, we are winning the election. And everybody wants to be part of the winning team. And so why will you want to drag your feet on issues that will not benefit you anyhow? And so the best thing is that they should let bygone be bygone, uh, let Jana uh, move on. She's going to win the seat for us, certainly. I mean, so we'll, we'll make our day uh, come November 7th. You, well, you... You, you cannot also discount the strength of Peter Kachiaka, at least, based on what I've just run through right now. He is a potent contender in this constituency based on his history, his impact and track record. Can you? Uh, well, I would describe him as a spend force as of now. I've Why been is to that? The constituency. Oh, yes. I mean, I've been to the constituency. You saw how he lost the primaries. When we went for the primaries. The primaries, he's challenging. He, he is yes. challenging the primaries. I mean, he, he was not challenging the outcome of the primary. He was rather, his people were challenging the, the eligibility of Joanna, not the process. It wasn't the process he was challenging. He was challenging the eligibility of Joanna. And that's what they were all along challenging at the, at the court. It's not about the process. It's not about delegates and all that. The delegates overwhelmingly voted for Joanna. 
And I'm saying that I've been to the constituency severally. And I can tell you today, if they put the ballot box there and Joanna appeared on the ballot paper, she will get not less than 85 to 90 percent of the votes in the constituency. She's loved by everybody. Old, both old, young, middle aged, they love the young lady. She's down to F. In fact, uh, Kwachi is a spend force. They don't even want to hear him over there. So this thing that he's doing is, is neither here nor there. He's better stop it. Uh, 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 and then uh, let's fall ahead. I, I see. But you're, you're, you're projecting, what, 85 to 90 percent for Joanna Jankujo? I'm telling you. W based, on, based on what exactly? What informs this projection? Because... Oh, she's, she, she's down on... on, on, on in fact, if you get to the constituency, the kind of activity she's doing for the ages, the middle age, and the youth in particular, they like her. She's loved by everybody. I mean, she's easy going. She easily mingle with them. And then she's helping them, the, 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 the downtrodden in the community. Recently, she's been doing a lot of health activities, eh? health screening all over, helping the, 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 the agents in the communities and all that. As I said yesterday, I had calls from about three paramounts within their constituency. Chiefs were telling me that, look, if they don't bring back Joanna, they will boycott the election. They are not going to vote anybody. Because they know what the lady is doing. And they think that she, is, she should represent them. She's a worthy rep replacement for Kwachi. I've been, I say I've been there. Look, all these years you have mentioned, go there and see the attitude of Kwachi over there. I'm not surprised they voted, they voted him out during the primaries. Because that place... You think that it's a, it's, it's a rural area, but the people are educated, they, they understand the situation in the country, and they follow the pattern of development with other communities. And the short stay of Joanna in that constituency, they have seen that actually she's somebody who would actually help them when we'll she gets to parliament. Well, well, we'll see. So November 7, right, is the date to watch. And we'll, yes, see, well. We'll, 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 we'll see what happens in court related to this, whether the courts will smile at you uh, to have a candidate in the Memphis Central Constituency going to this election or not. But thank I'm very you, sure of that. Dr. Rashid Tanko Computer is the Deputy Director of ITN Elections for uh, the NDC uh, there. But I want to say thank you for staying with us here on Ghana tonight. I want to apologize for our inability to bring you that interview with Alexander Fenyo marking. It's a little hitch um, with, with that, but apologies that we could not bring you that interview. But I want to say thank you so much for joining us here on Ghana Tonight. On the of the team, we appreciate your company. Join, join us same time tomorrow. I'm Alfred Kansi. Have a good night.